Okay. kama bado huja subscribe katika hii channel na kuomba subscribe hapo ili uweze kupata video zote ambazo tunakuwa tunazitoa ama subtopic zote ambazo zinakuwa zinatolewa hapa lakini pia kama utakuwa una swali unaweza ukauliza katika sehemu ya comment hapo uka comment na sisi tutaona swali lako na tutalijibu katika muda mwafaka okay baada kutizama profit maximization ama goals of financial management tunatizama leo goal of financial management nyingine ambayo ni wealth maximization tunaenda kuangalia hii wealth maximization ni nini ama ni goal ya aina gani aya anaanza kusema the term wealth means shareholders wealth kwamba hii neno wealth tunajua kama ni mali lakini mali ya hapa ile kusudiwa ni hawa shareholders wealth ni hawa shareholders or wealth of a person who are involved in the business concern kwamba ni au mali ya yule mtu ambaye anamejihusisha katika biashara ama ni ameanzisha biashara fulani ama yule mmiliki wa ile biashara ndio wealth ambayo tunaizungumzia hapa anasema wealth maximization is also known known as value maximization pia inajulikana kama value maximization uongezaji wa thamani or net present worth maximization ama inaitwa pia net present ama sehemu nyingine utakuta imeandikwa net present value maximization kuongeza tu ile net present value ama hapa ile utajua hapa ma, kwa maana kwamba ni ile stock yake kuongezeka thamani ya ile stock ambayo ana hold huyu huyu mmiliki wa hii biashara asema this objective universal accepted concept kwamba hii objective ya wealth maximization ni universal accepted concept in the field of business katika biashara kwa maana hichi ni kitu ambacho kimekubaliwa dunia nzima kinakubaliwa kwamba hii wealth maximization ni objective ambayo ni best objective katika biashara anaendelea kusema the financial manager in a company makes decision for the shareholder of the company kwamba financial manager kama tulivyosema katika level hii ya kampuni anaajiriwa kwa ajili ya kufanya maamuzi kwa ajili ya wamiliki ama shareholders of the company yeye ndio mfanyaji wa maamuzi so if you assume that kama tutashumu kwamba shareholders buy share because they seek to gain financial kwamba hawa shareholders wenyewe wananunua zile share ama zile hisa kwa ajili ya kugain financial ili kuja kuwa improved kipesa kwamba waongezeke uwezo wao wa ku earn money uongezeke then from shareholders point of view kutokana sasa na wao shareholders a good financial management decision is the one which increase the value of the share kwamba kwa wao sasa wataona kwamba good management decision usimamizi mzuri wa pesa ni ule ambao uta increase value of share ule ambao uta increase thamani ya hisa zao kwa sababu wao wananunua hizo hisa kwa ajili ya kupata nini kuongezeka kwa nini kwa pesa kwa maana hizo hisa zao zitakapokuja kuwa na thamani kubwa ndio hapo wao watakapokuwa wana earn more money therefore the appropriate goal for the financial manager can be stated as kwa hiyo appropriate goal lengo ambalo ni nzuri ama muhimu ambalo linahitajika zaidi ni ambalo kwamba ile ambayo iko stated that the goal of financial manager is to maximize the current value pa share of existing stock kwamba hilo ndio lengo ambalo linatambulika lengo halisi la biashara kwamba the goal of financial manager is to maximize kuongeza ile current value pa share thamani halisi ambayo anayo yule shareholder of existing stock thamani halisi ya stock ambayo anayo ikiwa inaonge, inaongezeka muda baada ya muda kwamba hiyo ndio tunasema nini ni goal of financial manager kwamba financial manager lengo kubwa katika biashara ni kwamba hakikishe hiyo thamani ya zile stock za wale shareholder inaongezeka kila baada ya muda. Hiyo ndio wealth maximization ama ndio goal of financial management ndio main goal ama goal muhimu ya financial management. Kwamba hakikishe kwamba hiyo thamani ya stock inaongezeka. Okay, tuangalie uzuri wa hii wealth maximization ama hizi kwanza kabla ya kwenda hapo anasema maximizing wealth k 
can be defined as kwamba tunaangalia je hiyo maximizing wealth ina maana gani kwamba ni maximizing purchasing power ni kuongeza ile purchasing power uwezo wa kufanya manunuzi the promise of flow of cash in the future in the form of dividend gain is what prompt investors so sacrifice immediate consumption and hand over their saving to management team through purchase of shares kwamba hii promise of flow of cash in the future kwamba wanavyo wanavyoidiwa kwamba mbeleni kwamba kiasi cha pesa kitaongezeka ama income yenu itaongezeka zaidi kupitia hisa ambazo mnazimiliki ama stock ambazo mnazimiliki kwa maana zitaongezeka samani ndio maana tunasema kwamba in the form kwamba hiyo future flow of cash inaongezeka in the form of dividend or gain zile dividend ambazo wanakuwa wanazipokea hicho kitu sasa ndo kinafanya kwamba investors wana sacrifice immediate consumption kwamba wameshahakikishiwa kwamba flow of income for future itakuwa ni kubwa kwa maana sasa wao kwa sasa hivi wana sacrifice hizi consumption matumizi yao ambao ilibidi hiyo pesa yao waitumie katika matumizi tofauti tofauti and hand over they are saving to a management team kwa maana ile pesa yao sasa wanaenda wana save ama wanaenda kununua zile hisa wana save pesa yao through purchasing shares hapo imeeleweka kitu ambacho tu wana expect kwamba ni future profit kwamba inakuwa ni kubwa so wana forgo hizi consumption kwa anasema thus maximizing shareholders wealth means maximizing the flow of dividend through time kwa maana maximizing ya wealth ya hawa watu sasa tuna maximize wealth yao kivipi ni ku maximize ile flow of dividend kwa maana dividend iwe inaongezeka kila baada ya muda since the future dividend or gain should be reflected in the share price kwa maana hiyo future dividend yao ama gain yao inakuwa reflected kutokana na share price ambazo wanamiliki kwa maana stock zao ama hizo share zao zitakapokuwa na thamani zaidi ndo dividend ambayo watakuwa wanapata itakuwa ina thamani zaidi hapo tunasema kwamba itakapoongezeka hiyo share price ndo hapo hii wealth maximization goal inakuwa imetimia okay twende tukaangalie favorable arguments sasa uzuri wa hichi kitu kwamba wealth maximization ina strength vipi anasema favorable argument for wealth maximization anaanza kusema wealth maximization is superior to the profit maximization anasema kwamba hii wealth maximization yenyewe ndio super ama ndio superior ndio bora kuliko ile profit maximization kuliko ile goal ambayo ni ku maximize profit tu because anatoa sababu kusema the main aim of the business concern under this concept is to improve the value or wealth of shareholder anasema lengo halisi katika hii objective ni kuongeza wealth of shareholder ndo hata wewe tukatolea mfano kule wa sole trader kwamba unaanzisha biashara lengo ni wewe wealth yako iwe improved lakini ikiwa kama wewe unamwajiri mtu na ule mtu anakuwa na maslahi yake kwa maana yule mtu atakuwa pale kwa ajili ya kujibenefit ama kujinufaisha yeye na siku kunufaisha wewe ambaye ni mmiliki wa ile biashara. Kwa hiyo tukiangalia hii goal ambayo ni wealth maximization yenyewe lengo halisi inataka kumtajirisha yule mmiliki wa ile biashara na sio manager ama mtu mwingine wa aina yoyote. Ndio maana anasema hii goal yenyewe iko more favorable pia anasema wealth maximization consider both time and risk of the business concern. Hii yenyewe imehusisha vitu vyote hiyo both your time and risk kwa maana tuna invest kwa ajili ya future lakini pia risk tunaangalia katika project tuna invest katika project zile ambazo zinakuwa zina risk kubwa lakini pia return yake pia inakuwa ni ni kubwa. Lakini pia anasema wealth maximization provides efficient allocation of resources kwa maana resources zinakuwa allocated efficiently kwa ajili ya kukidhi yale mahitaji ya wale wamiliki sio kwa ajili tu ya watu wachache ama ma managers na watu wengine kwa hiyo wealth maximization yenyewe ina provide efficiency allocation of resources kwa maana tunajua kwamba 
lengo ni kumnufaisha yule mmiliki wa biashara kwa maana zile project ambazo zitakuwa selected zinatakiwa ziwe ni zenye high return okay hiyo ni hizo ni favorable argument tutizame and favorable arguments the wealth maximization anasema and favorable arguments for wealth maximization management alone enjoy certain benefit katika hasara sasa hichi kitu wealth maximization nakuta ile management yenyewe ama wale wa miliki hasa nakuta ndo wana enjoy certain benefit kwa sababu lengo halisi la hili objective ni kuwanufaisha wao wa miliki kwa maana wao wa miliki ndio watakuwa wana enjoy zaidi na uta wale wengine wafanya kazi wanakuwa wana kuwa less enjoy lakini pia anasema wealth maximization can be activated only with help of profitable position of the business concern lakini hii wealth maximization itawezekana tu endapo pale hiyo firm ama hiyo biashara itakuwa ina run profit kwa hiyo nakuta kwamba profit ndio kitu cha kwanza alafu ndio inafuata hii wealth maximization kwa hiyo kwamba hii itakuwa activated only with help of profitable position profitable position ndio itaweza ku fanya hii wealth maximization lakini kama hiyo hiyo biashara yenyewe itakuwa sio profitable hichi kitu wealth maximization hakitawezekana lakini anaendelea kusema wealth maximization is nothing kwamba hii sio kitu chochote isipokuwa it also profit maximization hii wealth maximization ni kama tu profit maximization it is the indirect name of the profit maximization hii ni kama jina lingine tu la profit maximization kwa sababu kama tulivyoona hapo juu kwamba ili mradi ufanye wealth maximization lazima kwanza upite katika profit maximization. Kwa hiyo hapa hii profit maximization yenyewe imeonekana tu weak lakini hii wealth maximization ni jina lengine la hiyo profit maximization, maximization. lakini katika levo tofauti tu hapo tumeona kwamba hawa lengo halisi hiyo profit aipate yule mmiliki wa ile biashara sio ipitie sehemu nyingine kwa hiyo ndo wealth maximization goal. Kwa maana hapa tumeangalia hizo goals mbili ambao ni profit maximization na wealth maximization. Nikukumbusha kama bado hujasubscribe, usubscribe hapo chini na kama una swali pia unaweza kukauliza hapo chini. Na tukaliona tutakujibu.